सो गाइज वन ऑफ यू हैव आस्क मी सर प्लीज पुट ए वीडियो ऑन लिविंग स्टेट डिजाइन वर्सेज वॉकिंग स्ट्रेस मेथड ओके सो दिस वीडियो इज गोइंग टू बी ऑल अबाउट वर्किंग स्ट्रेस मेथड वर्सेज लिमिट स्टेट मेथड सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द वीडियो इफ यूर न्यू टू दिस चैनल प्लीज डू सब्सक्राइब एंड ऑल्सो डोंट फॉरगेट टू जॉइन द चैनल टू शो योर लव एंड सपोर्ट टूअर्ड्स दिस चैनल सो लेट स्टार्ट सो इन द सब्सिक्वेंट स्लाइड आई विल नॉट मैंशन दिस वर्किंग स्ट्रेस और लिमिट स्टेट बिकॉज दिस आर वेरी कन्फ्यूजिंग वर्ड एट लीस्ट फॉर मी so personally i don't prefer this particular words rather i will use asd for working stress and lrfd for limit state why let me explain so the working stress you can say well the name suggest that we should work as per the uh, stress that is coming due to actual load or working load so it's a bit confusing okay and also from limit state which is the state that is limiting or what is the limit state so all of these are very confusing to me that is why i personally prefer to use asd method or lrfd method and not only that these are also convention or term used in aisc and these are also very easy to remember this term why asd the name suggest allowable strength design that means here you work as per the allowable strength so if this is the nominal strength of your material you will work as per the allowable strength and that is your this one okay or the yield stress right so how you will find this allowable strength definitely you have to factor down the nominal strength that is the sigma n divided by the factor of safety that is fs sometime you can denote this the resistance power of the material nominal resistance rn and you have to factor it down by a factor of safety so every design will be based on this allowable stress so what about the loading condition we don't bother about the loading we will only use the actual load that is coming to your structure that's it okay so you will consider the actual load that is coming to your structure this load may be dead load may be live load may be wind load may be earthquake load we do not care about it we will use the actual amount of load that is coming to the structure so based on that load we will find what is the stress that is being generated to your material and that stress that is actually being generated or induced that must be less than this allowable strength that is known your asd method that's it period now come to the second one what is lrft from this abbreviation we can say lrfd method is a load that means the applied load resistance that means the nominal strength of the material factor design so in this method we will use a factor with the applied load we will use a factor with the nominal strength to make the design so first what we will do let's say this is the load actual load coming to the structure so first based on the criteria or the philosophy why i am using this based on this criteria because in the previous case the allowable strength was the only criteria in asd method right but in lr fd method you have different type of criteria first strength criteria second serviceability criteria that means the deflection okay or the rotation that is allowed and the durability criteria so all these three type of criteria maybe one or two more criteria is there in the lrfd method so let's say we are considering the first strength criteria so to pass in this strength criteria first what you have to do you have to first factor this load because the name itself suggest the load and resistance factor 
So first you have to factor this load. Why we have to factor this load? Because let's say this load is coming due to wind or maybe due to earthquake or maybe due to dead load or maybe due to live load. So all these load criteria are based on some statistical approach. So you have to consider a mean load based on your statistical approach because you cannot predict the exact amount of load that should come to your structural member. Always there will be some amount of probability involvement. So to cater that probability, you have to factor this load. That is why it is load factor design. And not only that, you cannot use the nominal strength of your material because in your material there may be some amount of what? Impurity. So to consider that also you have to factor it down and that is your available strength. So if the nominal strength was Rn, in that case you have to use some factor it down and after factory down the strength is available to you is known as your available strength right so you have got two factored item first one is your applied load that is factored already and also you have a resistance that is also factored the same logic is also applicable here also in your material strength you cannot predict the exact amount of strength available to you so what you have to do you have to use the probabilistic method to find the nominal strength and once you use this factor you have catered this probabilistic nature of strength right so once you have find the factored load and factored strength what you have to do you have to check that this available strength that is factored nominal strength it must be greater than or equals with the stress that is being generated due to your factored load okay so if this is the stress generated due to the factored load it must be less than or equal to the factored available strength so that is the difference between ast method and lrfd method now I think it is clear to you what is the difference between ASD and LRFD method. Now you should also be able to, uh, you should also uh, find what method is the best suitable for your structure because from these two different methods you can see that LRFD consider different type of criteria that is strength, serviceability and also durability and if your structure is sensitive to deflection in that case the serviceability criteria is a a uh, very major criteria so ASD does not allow you to uh, check the serve serviceability criteria in that case you have to use the LRFD and not only that here you can see in LRFD method the uh, use of the materialistic strength is more so the design must be more economical compared to your ASD method because in ASD method the strength used is compared to LRFD is less okay not only that the loading criteria if different type of loading is there you have to factor them because of the probabilistic nature and because of the uncertainty in your structure so to cater all of all of these things i think lrfd is the best okay so that's it if you love this video don't forget to share it